concentration forms the building block to meditation. Concentration and meditation are not the same. They have the differences, but you need to practice concentration and strengthen your mind and you must be able to control your emotions. You must be able to concentrate, to become aware of yourself in order to pass into the state of meditation. In the state of meditation, you transcend beyond concentration. In concentration, you're focusing your thoughts into one aspect, can be an image form, or an idea, or words, it can be anything. So in state of meditation, you break that concentration and you loosen the mind of the points of all points of concentration. That is, when you're normally sitting and relaxed, you're aware that you are the body. That is also a point of concentration. You need to break that awareness. Then, your mind tends to watch the breath. It tends to feel the inflow and outflow of breath. That itself is also a form of concentration when the mind is concentrated on your breath. So you need to break that concentration point as well. So, in a state of proper, relaxed meditation, you break the point of concentration of the awareness of the body and the awareness of the breath. So when those two concentration points are broken, you exist in a state of no concentration. That is, a state of just being, a state of self, pure awareness. Once you break the point of concentration of the awareness of breath, your mind surpasses time. That is, you transcend beyond time and space. You tend to exist as pure awareness. Now one thing you have to understand is, in the state of awareness, joy, happiness, sorrow, reasoning, discrimination, you name it, none of those aspects are functioning. If you say, I'm meditating and experiencing joy and happiness, then you're still concentrating on the joy and that emotion state. The state of meditation or the perfect state of samadhi meditation, you are beyond joy, happiness, discrimination, sorrow, feelings, unhappiness, you name it, even beyond love. You don't experience emotions. You just experience the state of being. And with only regular practice, can you hold that experience of state of pure awareness for lengthy periods of time? Because your mind always tends to concentrate back into emotional states, body awareness states, and so on. So you need to or practice regularly in the state of pure silence, the state of pure awareness, the state of no concentration. And the best part of concentration versus meditation is concentration takes effort of the mind. You can become tired after prolonged practice. But in the state of meditation, there is no concentration, there is no tiredness. You can exist in that state as long as you want. That is how you see people passing into the state of this yoga nidra, or you get yogis meditating with a food and water for days, for months. They defeat the state of concentration. They're in a perfected state of awareness. So, you need to practice concentration to get to that meditative state.
But after you achieve that meditation, meditative state, concentration becomes a tool to strengthen your mind and be more aware of yourself.